I mean, you employ, I would imagine, hundreds of people, right, across the 30-odd restaurants. That, yes. it, how have you struggled with that? Well, obviously, they can't go to work. You know, that's their livelihoods. And we've tried to put in place some things to, to help, which hopefully have made a difference. But, I mean, obviously, you've been, it sounds like you've been on the phone with some of them, teaching some of them. But how have you just handled that enormous workforce with people's livelihoods that they can't go back to over the past several months? My big primary concern, you know, for the first three months of this lockdown, Last year was focusing on the under 30s, mentally connecting, spending more time talking to them. And to be honest, time that I never could have spent with them before. Time that was nothing to do with running a restaurant or developing a recipe or serving you know, amazing customers. It's finding out about them, their personalities, what upsets them in the morning when they wake up and they've never had this chance to sort of convey those messages before. So that was instrumental. It was letting them know that this is a temporary halt and this is not going to last forever. So it was keeping their minds active and stopping them falling off to the wayside, feeling, what's the point? Because we're never going to come back. That was the first real pivotal moment of this lockdown. I know you've had a hellish year. I mean, I don't think there's ever been a, a chancellor in the history of government that's experienced what you've experienced the last 12 months. And in hindsight, no one saw that coming. So. I look at the setups in Italy and France and Spain and uh, the US and Germany, and I think we've been given one of the most incredible support systems from the furlough scheme, which was instrumental yes. uh, in maintaining you know, oh, some form of uh, positivity. Then we had that amazing break with the VAT, which was you know, yeah. pivotal at 5%, and then the sort of deferred payments you know, with the business rates. Those Caveats uh, worked out brilliantly. Um, we got into big negotiations with the landlords of deferring yeah. rent. Uh, clearly, no restaurant is you know full of oxygen unless they've got the right suppliers. So, yeah. you know, we contacted all our suppliers, and and that that kind of one to one connect within seven days of lockdown was really important to understand we're all in this together, and we are going to come out of it. And that, how have you found the conversation with the landlords? Um, landlords have been super positive. There's always going to be one or two in the background that aren't complying. But I think what they've really understood is that when you have a brand that is strong and you're coming back even stronger, and I think that was one of the key points for the team to focus on repositioning these restaurants better and stronger than we were before lockdown. And so almost treat those businesses like a new opening. As you think about your businesses and the coming out of lockdown, how is the industry going to evolve and adapt? What, what's going to happen to the industry when you look forward? I think back to July the 4th last year, and the level of excitement to get those restaurants open. It was much needed. It was a perfect scenario in the summer. Uh, everybody thought we were out of this thing. And of course, we tread carefully with caution. We took all those necessary measures. Yep. And more importantly, um, customers felt secure inside those restaurants. They felt, you know, that they were sort of in this bubble. They were being protected and they were sort of enjoying what it feels like to eat out again. When you introduce the photo scheme and you promise to drop you know, that level of support financially by midnight. Uh, it was in our bank accounts you know, by the close of play at five o'clock to the hour. But I think we delivered. I think you delivered beyond. And then there was that level of um, support ongoing when we came out of lockdown. Yeah. I think the VAT reduction was huge. I think as a government, we've been supported better than any other country that I know. And secondly, it's, you've been precise. What you've said, you've stood by and delivered.